Welcome back to the channel. If like me, you have hundreds, if not thousands of nodes building up in Obsidian, you may have started to find a search bar cumbersome. So even though you might be capturing nodes successfully, not finding them when needed loses the benefit of a node taking system. Fortunately, there is a plugin to help. It is called DataView and is one of the most popular community plugins on Obsidian. Using DataView allows you to find your notes faster, mainly when you have built up a lot of notes, automate your Obsidian workflows. DataView will update automatically as the user adds notes. It can also help you rediscover notes you might have forgotten about and generate ideas. Plenty of videos show how to use DataView in Obsidian, so I'm sharing some of the snippets that I use. I hope you will use them to inspire you to create a library of snippets for your workflow. The range from beginners to advanced users, particularly one that took me a few days to work out. There is a link in the description for snippets I share in my video. If you want more techniques, tools and hacks for your workflow, please subscribe to my channel. The most common data view I use lists the last nodes I've changed. Data view sits on my main Obsidian dashboard and allows me to access to the last nodes I was working on or new nodes that have come into the vault. Once you have installed data view, type the following into a note. The first line tells Obsidian to use the data view plugin. The second line list tells the plugin how to display the result. The third line from tells the plugin which folder to use. It will look at the whole vault if you leave it empty. The fourth line sort tells the plugin Plugin how to sort the results. The fifth line, limit, tells the plugin how many rows to display. The final line tells the plugin there is no more code to process. When the user opens a note, it will generate the results. Let's see it in action. If you activate live preview, it will generate on the fly. Switching between source mode and reading mode activates the results. Data view has a range of parameters to try out and to optimize your results. But the best results I have found are when combining with other plugins. Let's have a look. I use Kindle highlight plugin to list highlights I have made in Kindle books and track the books that I've been reading. Let's look at the snippet. In this one, I'm creating a table with different column names. I'm using the Kindle highlight property as the column names I want and renaming them to what I want to display. The from part tells data view to look in a specific folder. I've sorted it by when I last added highlights and limited it to five books. Let's see it in action. Another feature of DataView is you can add images to it. If I add another column called book image URL, it contains an image link to retrieve the book cover. This snippet shows how you can use DataView with plugins. Let's see how we can start incorporating it in our workflow. Another plugin I use is Readwise plugin. I use my Readwise subscription to collect highlights from different sources and organize them in Obsidian. Acting on these highlights is essential to help you develop your ideas. To remind me of these highlights, I've added a task to each highlight in the Readwise Obsidian export template. Adding this task to the metadata of a Readwise highlight will automatically be added to my Obsidian vault. By doing this, I can create a data view that lists each of the notes that still need to be processed. To do this, I must tell data view to get a list of tasks. I use the where clause to filter out tasks that are complete. I sort the notes by the most recent and limit it to five. Let's see it in action. Again, this data view lives in my dashboard. If I have spare time to process the highlight, I can select the task which will link to the note to work on. I then usually create an atomic note with my ideas and can tick off the task once I complete it. I can add tags to this section if I want to filter further. For example, if I want to see tweets I highlighted, I can add hashtag tweets to the from clause. You can see how combining different data types can help you find the notes you need. Tags are essential. So in the next section, we look at using tags and data view to generate content ideas. If you enjoy the content and found it helpful, please press the like button so I know to create similar content. One of the latest features in Obsidian is the properties view. The properties view allows you to add metadata to a note quickly. I use this to add tags to notes. Once tags have been added to notes, we can use data view to search for them. I have a folder with a list of apps I reviewed and notes against them. When I want ideas for new content, I can use these tags. In the snippet below, I'm using data view to look for creative apps. I have a limit for five. Let's see it in action. Data view tells me I must research more apps or think of another idea. What about if I have an idea 
for a list of study apps. I can change the tag to look for study tags. Great, I now have five apps for my review. But how do I know these are any good? I can add a new property in my notes to add a review score. To do this, I press add property and giving it a label called review score. I can set the property type as a number and give it a score. I can do this for all my app notes. To use this in my data view, I can add a where statement, which returns notes with a score. To do this, I type where the review score is greater than 80. I can also add a review score to table to include it in the results. Using tags, properties and data view is a great way to find notes for content creation. But what about showing the data view table in a chart? The next snippet aims to combine data view with the Obsidian chart plugin and it took me three nights to work out a simple solution that I can share with you. I wanted to create a data view that looked at the tags I was researching to highlight topics I needed to further research. To do this, we can use two more features of data view, flatten and group by. Flatten helps us break up tags into individual tags. Length gives us a count of nodes with those tags. Group by aggregates those counts into individual tags. I combined this table with Obsidian chart to show a bar graph of this data. Things got tricky as I had to use data view JavaScript to combine the data view I created with Obsidian chart. To run data view JavaScript, you need to activate it on the data view settings. Users need to activate enabling JavaScript queries and enabling inline JavaScript query options. Let's have a look at the code. My JavaScript abilities are limited. So I pass the code I used for my data view into the DV query and map the relevant columns. If you have Obsidian Charts plugin installed, it will generate the bar chart. Users can customize charts thanks to the Obsidian Charts plugin and documentation on the website provides you with many options to play around with. I hope this video has helped with using data view in your Obsidian workflow. The descriptions has the snippets I've used, so press like if you have used them. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for subscribing. I appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this video, then look at one of my other videos to help with your workflow. Goodbye for now.